Hello everyone, this is Fire Swamp with more Creep World 4, and today I will be going over the recent competition map, The Axe. Uh, for those not aware, in the developer's discord we have competitions, uh, where we have 10 days to submit the best possible times on a set of maps, and The Axe, the map that we're looking at right now, was one of those maps. So, first of all, we're just going to take a look at the map and see what we've got. So, a lot of terrain difference, but it's actually not going to be all that consequential because we've got some very powerful emitters back here. And the other factor that we actually can't see uh, normally, but we can see if we pop open the level in the editor. So if we go into the editor, um, it's very hard to know this, but the wall decay rate has been reduced. What this means is that the walls actually last longer. Normally a wall like this would last less than a minute, but with these settings, with this wall decay rate, this wall actually lasts to about the two minute mark. So, if you can win before two minutes, you don't need to worry about any of the creeper that's going to be building up here. And I will say, there's going to be a lot of creeper building up here. So, the other thing to take into account is that to win, all you need to do is activate this totem. If you can activate this totem, you win. You're done. Nothing else needs to be done. So, question comes, how do you activate the, how do you quickly activate this totem? Because if you look, the mesh will actually activate through the wall. So you can't really build on this low ground here. I say low ground, but it's not exactly that low, but you know, not like all this mesh area that you could connect to behind the wall will get killed. So it doesn't seem like there's an easy way to get access to this totem without either um, platforms. And even then I, oh yeah, there are some places you could set it up. Uh, or basically fighting through mesh. But there actually is a way around this. And I'll also show you what setup I ended up with. So the trick comes that this terrain right here, you try and build a tower here, this is going to be too far away. However, if you lower the terrain to terrain height 9, a tower can connect to this totem. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, the other thing is I need to actually build up the liftic. Most of this other stuff was mostly just getting, like saving a few frames. The main thing was just if you got a tower here, a, um, a refinery built up, and a factory, you would basically get a sub two minute time without too much issue. So now in the full up, like basically all the tricks I ended up with uh, are here. So the first thing, is we actually need a lot of power for what we're doing. So right after we build, uh, we're sorry, we're going to do two towers into an earned miner. This is just the most economically powerful opening. And as soon as this gets close to done, I'm going to slow down. OK, so once the last packet comes out, so the last packet is out, I want to build up these are the three priorities, the refineries, and it, it seems weird that I'm getting two earned refineries for one totem. And what the actual trick is, is that I just need Liftic very, very quickly because I'm going to use this porter. This seems very weird because, again, what would I need a porter for when the objective's right here and I'm going to be connecting to it directly to my lap? I'll get to that when we get to, when we get there, but for right now, the main thing is I want to get this miner up, and just so I have enough power to build everything, and I also need to get the refineries going ASAP, so that way I get the liftic ASAP. Okay. So the other thing that while these are building up, I'll discuss is um, the direction of this refinery. So the refinery drone spawns on this plus, and the idea is, is that this refinery is going to collect this um, liftic. So I want the drone to fly the shortest distance to collect it. Okay, so I just need to pay attention to power. 15. Uh, I think it probably makes sense. I just need to keep an eye on the power because I also need the turp up at a reasonable time frame. So I need to be a bit careful with a lot of things. Okay, so the turp is at a good rate. The refineries are good. Okay, and now we can start building these. Okay, so I just need to be a bit careful. This is going to be supply off for the beginning. The other thing is I think I have power, so I'm going to start building up that tower. And at this point, it's mostly just a game of unpause and let everything go crazy. Okay, so I just need to be a bit careful once the drone comes out from here. This is going to finish up and it's not going to get me too much until the refineries are... Okay, so the turf is almost done. 
refineries are almost done. Excellent. So that turf is heading out. So once this terraforms to 10, I'm going to go into the terraform and I'm going to decontaminate this area. It's actually not going to be all that important for decontaminating some of the area, but now you see this tower connection to the totem is active. Okay. Uh, what am I missing? I just need to be very careful that I'm not missing anything. Okay, power. So our arms. That's supply off. So these are going to get power very quickly. And the next thing I'm going to build is just a pylon right here. And this is just because the pylon is a slightly higher speed connection and I really just didn't have I didn't have the uh, energy to use on anything. Like the energy I didn't have for Sorry, I didn't have anything else that needed energy at this point. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to set up, now that the area's been decontaminated, I'm, this is where this porter comes in. I'm going to be placing the porter here, and the main reason is because the totem requests packets. So the idea is it kind of says, I want a packet. What's the closest thing that can deliver it to me? Okay, well, it looks like it's the factory for right now because I don't have a lifting box here. However, this lifting box is designed to land after uh, after at least 10 packets have been sent out from the factory because then the totem will start requesting more packets from the from this box which is then going to route a lot quicker than it would through this factory and that was how I kind of saved the last little bit of time that's what this optimization that's what the second miner was for that's what actually the second refinery was for um, so I should be a bit careful because what I want is I want so the first so the first few packets need to head to the totem itself. The, the uh, porter can accept liftic at a, a much higher rate than normal. So once this starts to build up, I'm just... So once this is above... As so long as the uh, amount of liftic in the factory is above 1, I'm going to keep this on. But if it's at 1, I'm just going to keep it off. And that's kind of just been my game plan for this. I could probably do this a lot quicker, but uh, okay, so let's just go supply off for right now, and let's just let the... Okay, I think at this point it's safe to... No, I can't. it's not safe. Okay, no. It's built up. That's all I need. So this... Okay, so let's do some counting. So, we have... Okay, so this totem has one, two, three, four... Okay, so is that flying out? Yeah, it's flying out. Okay. And I believe at this point I could just unpause and get the victory, but let's just watch this go out. Okay, so now you see that the, these packets are now, this packet actually came in front of the one from the uh, factory. It, this is a solid half second faster. And now we just need to wait for this to activate and we get, I believe that that is the sub one point. Yep, that was actually a new fastest time. I believe, because I think my last one was 139.9. Yep. And, yeah, that was basically how I ended up uh, solving this competition and actually winning it. So, thank you for watching, and have a great day.